All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna keep this fight clean. Touch gloves, let's do it. All right, we got the bow, no touch of the gloves. Fourth meeting, Davison Figueredo and Brandon Moreno. Both men come in with belts, only one leaves Rio as the undisputed UFC flyweight champion. Moreno in green. Figueredo is in the black and gold befitting a champion. Oh, oh guillotine. Oh, Moreno with a nice double leg. I swear, I asked Izzy the other day, I said, what do you have to do, Moreno? He goes, well, he goes, he has a base because he worked with Daryl Christian for so long. Right. He goes, he picks up on things so fast. So he said they've worked on the fundamentals, and obviously it shows right away because we've never seen him shoot for a takedown this quickly. Both fighters staying calm. Figueredo seemingly biding his time. But if you're Figueredo, you let go to guillotine. That's not going to do anything. Brandon's in half guard on the opposite side. All you're doing is blowing up those arms. Which is smart approach of Moreno to try to slow him down a little bit. Yeah, pops right over. Nice job, oh, wow. Figueredo. Showing that strength. That's exactly what it was, Bali Strip, right? All right, so an interesting start to say the least. 90 seconds down in round one of a possible five. Moreno with his traditional high guard. Oh. Figueredo did the entirety of this training camp in Brazil as he lands the front kick on Moreno. No major changes, otherwise he did bring in the Pitbull Brothers nutritionist. Nice body kick from Moreno. Moreno's really sitting down on those counters. Both times Davison's got close, Moreno has loaded up on that counter overhand right. Davison barely got out of the way of that last one. Yeah, you see Moreno is being much more patient. He's kind of waiting, not, not throwing out the jab as much either. He's kind of waiting for Figueredo to open up with these big shots and then look in the counter. If you remember the last fight, Figueredo did a really good job of timing the jab of Moreno and landing kicks. Figueredo realizing some success. Ooh. Both guys landing there. Another level change there by Moreno. Gets the two underhooks. Good recognition by Figueredo that time. And good vision by Davison defensively there. put all his weight into that leg kick. See Moreno is looking for these elbows off of the break. Oh, rips the body, does Moreno. One minute to go round one. A lot of wrestling favors Moreno. He will not get tired. If you gotta choose the two who may fatigue fast, you question if it's not gonna be Davison, being that he's the bigger guy in there. Cuts more weight. Good left hand for Brandon Moreno. Nice takedown. Really nice second of the round. That's good for, for Moreno as well, because that was pretty far out for him to get that. But drove through, didn't give up on it. 
Oh, oh. interesting. Figueredo. Figueredo looking for the heel hook oh. here. Oh my goodness. He's got that tight. But Moreno's doing a great job of pushing away, trying to create space and get his knee from behind, over the hips. Now he's safe. The moment he got his knee out of there, he was fine. Looked like some sort of protest from Moreno due to what he thought might have been an illegal kick from Figueredo. Competitive first round as their whole series has been. Great timing on that takedown by the interim champion. Yeah, right here you see Dave. Yeah, Davidson kicks him on the ground. Yeah. Right, he kicks him on the ground. Moreno looks at the official like, what is going on here? Oh, yeah. Definitely illegal. Yeah, it's definitely illegal. I don't know if he was trying to go for the collarbone oh. there or kicked him in the head. Watch what you're doing. That was, watch. Don't get me involved with that. Fight. All right, here we go. Round two of the flyweight championship. Figueredo's got to do a better job of picking up those takedown attempts. Moreno's mixed them in beautifully. That last one was perfectly timed to end the round on top. And now Figueredo forcing the issue a little bit, working inside the open guard of Moreno. Gets his own takedown. Very smart by Figueredo. Good short right hand from Figueredo right in front of the broadcast booth. Look at him trying to stack Moreno up. Try to feed his hips into Moreno. Use that octagon side to really crumble him up and drop some big punches on him. Nice work from Moreno to scramble up to the single leg here. He is making Davison work, work really hard. hard, yeah. Crazy pace, lots of grappling. All favors Moreno. Davison a strong grappler himself, but the pace, the pace that Moreno is setting is what's gonna challenge the cardio yep. of Davison. Nice. Didn't stick around, and that's exactly what Safe Sayud wanted. He wanted him to throw the one-two and then shoot. He doesn't want him staying in the pocket too long with Figueredo. And Figueredo a little bit busted up on that right side. He's been outlanded by Moreno, 20 to nine. attack from Brandon Moreno. Moreno just seems to be a step out ahead of Figueredo to this point. Oh! Ooh. Beautiful jab right hand there by Moreno. And followed up by a counter to the body by Figueredo, but Moreno landed the more seminal blows in that exchange. Yeah, it was a, like a delayed double jab followed by that right hand. Figueredo partially lands upstairs. Another takedown. Wow. Oh. Nice reversal. Good sweep. Oh, man, there he Oh, oh he's on the neck. Oh, it's tight. No, he's, it, he might be breaking the grip. It looks like it's yeah, on the chin. Start, it looks like he's starting to lose it. Brandon Moreno did a great job of staying patient. Figueredo is squeezing, man. This fight is not going according to plan. This is his chance. Brandon's head is popping, though. There it's it off. is. That was tight. Less than two minutes. Miserable for as long as it lasted there, I'm sure, for Moreno. These scrambles have really been fun to watch. 90 seconds to go round two. And once again, a very timely takedown for the interim champion. Unofficially three for six in that column. Cheeky little head pressure there from oh, yeah. Moreno, digging that forehead into the chin of 
Figueredo. <laughs> Figueredo controlling that left wrist of Moreno. But if you're Brandon Moreno, this will absolutely work late in round two. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can't ask for anything more. And if he is able to finish on top, that will be two rounds that he's ended the round on top of Davis and Figueredo. Second time, Herb Dean has called for more action. Moreno obliged him earlier. Figueredo closes the guard, seemingly content to end the round, fighting off of his back. Ooh. Oh! Elbow appear to get through for Moreno. Yeah, slicing elbow. And now Figueredo throwing bows off his back. Here's, let's take a look at this Moreno. Gets taken down from Figueredo and eventually swept him, ended on top. There's a nice right hand from Moreno. And just some crazy scrambles between these two. Davison ends up on top and then a beautiful sweep here and scrambles to a good position. Gets stuck in this guillotine for a while, but pops his head out and ends up on top and ends around that way. Full disclosure, at times, the flyweight stuff happens so quickly, it's hard to keep track. Yeah. All right, here we go. Third round of a possible five in this historic fourth meeting between Davis and Figueredo and Brandon Moreno. Nice shot to the body by the Brazilian. And it feels like Brandon Moreno has charged out ahead of Davis and Figueredo. He's got to do something to try to change this. Right hand for Moreno finds its home. Moreno just seems to be picking up on everything. And Figueredo's thrown one shot at a time. Looked like some sort of clash there. Partial left lands for Moreno. Ooh. Big swing and a miss by Moreno. He threw everything into that one. For Figueredo, this is his fourth consecutive fight against Moreno. Moreno had, the, oh, oh, huge left, and that bothered the eye of Figueredo. Oh, that's not a time He's calling all. for time, but it looked like it was a punch. To the ground we go, three and a half to go round three. He cut him. The eyes cut. Moreno hurt him. Oh, that's a knuckle. It was the thumb and then an eye poke. Wow. So we just caught the replay in our isolation monitor, and Davison Figueredo absorbed a punch, but then thereafter, it seemed like some sort of scrape, and that is what Figueredo was protesting. Yeah, that, this, the follow-up shot was... I don't think the follow-up actually got through. It was the punch that bothered him. DC, any thought if you're Moreno to trying to stand back up? Well, yeah, you know, but he's winning rounds, man. You, when you're in this type of fight, this high caliber, high stress situation, you've got to win rounds. Yeah. And right now, that is what Brandon Moreno is doing. He is winning rounds, you heard him, and you're right, Paul. He did touch him in the face with his hands, Yes. but his hands caught him on the opposite side of the face, the reaction. Yeah was from that oh. big punch. Huge left on the ground for Moreno. And Moreno getting aggressive. He's got to watch the triangle there. He can feel it. He can sense it. He can sense that, you know, this is a guy that he's finished before. 
and he can sense that he's starting to get to him. He's starting to break him down. Maybe he's starting to think, I can go and find the finish against Davison again. Juicy A4 Miga, the only other man to beat Figueredo, but Moreno, the only guy to put him away. And if you're Brandon Moreno and you want to put an end to this thing, you want to put a stamp oh, yeah. on this thing, you finish him again, it's done. done. I think winning five rounds would certainly do it too. Yeah, He's absolutely. on his way to that. Well, like this. I mean, it looks like it's going to be 3-0 after this round. Gotta watch those up kicks. Yeah. Figueredo's still fighting strong off his back, but that eye is definitely bothering him. And beat up. That was a beautiful left hook. And the reality is he caught the knuckle, right? So when you make the fist, sometimes you catch this. It's the worst. Or if they catch it with the tape on the gloves, it always sucks. It's those odd landed punches that sometimes do the most damage. Davis and Figueredo has been limited to just 17 significant strike connections. All right, so here's the sequence we continue to reference, the big left hand. And we will show you full screen between rounds. But Moreno trying to put the finishing touches on what has been a dominant Third round. Oh, big left hand, and the ground control time continues to pile up. And sometimes it's just in the matchup. Brandon Moreno is a nightmare of a matchup for Davis and Figueredo. Davis and Figueredo can look like a world beater, but against everyone else, but against Brandon Moreno, he makes him look like he has an equal. And Brandon Moreno, to this point, has charged out ahead of him, and I think he's up three rounds to zero. I agree. Right here, you see the punch Moreno lands. Look, he hits him with the knuckle. He hits him with the thumb, and then he does touch him on the face, but his thumb is on the forehead. He does not catch him in the eye, guys. Make no mistake about it. Left hook, lands. Now, watch. The right hand touches the forehead of Davis and Figueredo on the other side. The crowd would disagree. Stunner. <laughs> no, no. Well, so much of mixed martial arts success is about making adjustments. We'll see if the Figueredo corner can adjust. Let's go. Fight with one eye. Let's go. Bueno, soldado. That eye is almost completely closed. They bring in the ringside position. It is closed. If Davis and Figueredo cannot see out of that right eye, the doctor is going to stop That's the it. fight. And he has yeah. done it. And that means the rivalry and the undisputed flyweight title goes to Tijuana, Mexico's Brandon Moreno. Case closed, two finishes in the series for Brandon Moreno against Davison Figueredo. But Brandon Moreno was fighting beautifully. Yes. And I'm glad that that's the result because he was well ahead of this fight. No matter how many boos there are, he was well ahead this fight. And I know the crowd, you see, you know, they're going to see the hands go out and the fingers come close to the eyes, but it was that knuckle into the eye. It was 100% a clean punch thrown by Brandon Moreno. And like DC just said, it was a pretty dominant performance up to that point. So third meeting between these two guys a year ago. Moreno not at all resting on his laurels, right? Wins an interim title against Kai Kata France and then closes it out tonight. Here's that leaping left hook, and Moreno had been throwing that earlier. Remember the big swing and a miss? That was the same punch he was going for, and it landed perfectly. Look here, that thumb knuckle right into the eye, ultimately shutting the eye. And now, granted, he's got to be careful with those extended fingers, but here it is. 
Thumb into the eye. That's the knuckle. It's legal. Came close with those fingers, granted, but not what caused the damage. And the doctor had no choice but to make the decision he did. It goes into the books as the seventh between round stoppage in UFC championship history. Brandon Moreno, now the king again at 125 pounds. The official decision, here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, based on the doctor's recommendation at the end of round three, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. Declared the winner by TKO, and now the undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Brandon the Assassin Baby!